Knock this in. 31 pickup right here. Smart, smart. Don't think about our offense. Guard for me, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray is brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Welcome Irish fans to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray. I'm Jack Nolan, joined as always by the head coach of the Fighting Irish. And a pretty good week for your team, just one game, a lot of rest before and after. You know, I thought our rest before the game really helped us play well uh, against Cincinnati, and it was a thorough 40-minute game defending and rebounding. So it's a 1-0 week. One little bit of tough news, though, came out this week. Scott Martin's done. Yeah, we're going to have to shut him down for the rest of the year. He's going to have a procedure, a scope on that knee uh, this next week. And uh, he tried, but Jackie just couldn't get back. I feel for him because he was playing the best basketball of his career. But I'll tell you one thing, he'll go down as one of the very special leaders here and one of the really very, very solid players, very underrated. He kind of made everybody better. And we'll hear Scott talk about his leadership skills later in this show. Now, in the last 12 days, the Irish have played just one game, a Sunday afternoon tilt against the Cincinnati team that at one time was ranked as high as eighth in the national polls. We'll take you in the Notre Dame's pregame locker room right after this time. The world was recently shocked to discover a primitive society. They may not appear so different, but these people are still using outdated satellite TV. They've never lived in a world with Xfinity On Demand. Never known what it's like to catch up on the latest shows anytime, on any device, and they have no idea what they're missing out on. Wait, wait, are they signaling us? Nope, just adjusting their dishes. <laughs> they do that a lot. Don't settle for outdated satellite. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Well, I have been quietly standing in the shade all of my days. And I've been trying to find unlimited phone, unlimited data, unlimited life. The Galaxy S3 Unlimited Edition with truly unlimited data from Sprint. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. We had to help him into the locker room. It may be a believer. Not in luck or faith. You can see how exhausted Michael Jordan is. But in the will to win. You win from the game. Classic performance by Michael Jordan. Did I just change that was like for you? Window or aisle? Uh, right. Yes, sir? Excuse me. Can I help you? Yeah. It's in the system. The restroom? Oh, it's right behind you. You just turn right there. <laughs> Virgin America knows it's better for Xerox to manage their call centers, so they can focus on making flying cool again. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. Let's be able to come in here in two hours and say, we had a Pittsburgh night again. We just were plus double figures on the backboard against Cincinnati. And coach, your team takes instruction well. You out-rebounded Cincinnati, the best rebounding team in the Big East, 43-27. I'm thrilled that we were able to do that two games in a row against an athletic front line that Cincinnati has, and we really defended again, Jack. I think that's something with our identity that we're developing. And, you know, Cincinnati was cornered. They're coming off a tough loss. Uh, at Connecticut. They're in town for a couple days practicing, but our ball movement early was great, and our big guys can really pass the ball and can make open shots in Jack and Tom. How about this rotation here? We get back Tom Knight with a real good chest, Jack with a rebound, and, and we get a pretty good outlet. Here we are in our half-court offense. Check out our ball movement. Great post speed. We move the ball. Jack seals low. We get a low post look and a nice left-hand jump hook by Jack. Good defense here. 
Tom, rotation. How about our bigs coming over? That's the one thing we can do more with two bigs on the floor. We can rotate over and block some shots. We're hard to score over. Tom Knight with a mid-range shot. We want him to take that. I thought he did a great job early in the game of getting himself open. Sherm here inside. We love when he gives us this. He's got great footwork in the post and he's got a heck of a left hand. Our four big guys, again, gave us great energy. Active here, Zach with a rebound. Zach gets eight rebounds, Jack, in the first half. Here we go in transition. Nice pass by Eric. Camp runs the floor, and we're off getting easy buckets, and we get off to a good start, and we're feeling confident here. Ball movement, ball movement, extra pass. Great reversal, started with Sherm. Eric knocks down a three-point shot. Good by Cam right there to get a chest up. How about the outlet by Sherm? Quick outlet, he gets it out fast, and because the outlet is quick, Jaron gets down there and has an advantage. We score in transition again. Love to see us getting easy buckets. Against their zone, how about this probe right here by Eric Atkins, Pat Connaughton spotting up. We need Pat to think of himself as a spot up jump shooter more and more. How about we hit the high post against their zone? Great pass by Tom Knight, and we're in a very good flow offensively. You can't end the half better than this. I, I don't know how Jaron saw him, but a big time way to end the half uh, there. Start of the second half, we run a little set for Eric Atkins. He fades on the screen, we deliver it, and he gets a three-point shot right there. And we're off into another good rhythm. We're having to play against their pressure. They're down. How would you like to hit that ball screen? Whew. I tell you, when he ball screens people, Cam sneaks in there and knocks a shot down as we break their pressure. Again, versus their pressure, we break it. Jack, what ball control there? He keeps his pivot foot down, three-point play. Again, they're pressing us. It's a test for our passing ability, and I love how we pass the ball. Jaron finishes with a three-point play after we break pressure. Way to be a receiver, Jack Cooley, against the press. Eric Atkins here, they strip him. I love this play. This is Jack Cooley. If it's loose, guards around, he gets it, finds his teammate, Tom Knight, with a flush right there, kind of kind of uh, you know, kind of predicted what the day would be. How about that recovery by Jack? And just a heck of a win for us. I'm so thrilled. I think the energy we had was because we had some time off. And for us to do it two games in a row, rebounding and defending, love that momentum we have. There are your final stats from UND.com. A plus 16 rebounding margin to go with 18 assists on 22 field goals, 81% free throw shooting. And you also set Notre Dame Big East records for fewest points allowed in a half and a game. You know, I just think our position defense was great. Our big guys came over to rotate and they never got second shots. A little bit like Pittsburgh, we were able to get up on that backboard. I love that identity we have right now. I want to keep that going into March. We will hear from the Irish players in just a moment, but first, as we head to break, here's what Coach Bray had to say to his team after their dominating win over the Bearcats. What an effort defensively today. What did they have, 41? Yep, yep. You know, 41 points. <coughs> the backboard's got to be staggering. You're up, you know, plus 10 at halftime. Just a great job defensively. That was a matter-of-fact grind-you-up kind of game. That's the kind of stuff. This is one to really kind of remember and, and remember how it feels because this is the one we need heading down the stretch and into March. You know, garden and grinding on the other end. And I'll tell you what, those league standings, are looking real interesting right now, fellas. We are right in the hunt of things. Great job, great job. new fish McBites. Fishy fishy. Fish fish McBites. McBites. Fish fish McBites. McBites. Fishy fishy. Fish McBites are succulent and branded to perfection. So take a trip to make it easy and get you. The delicious Alaskan Pollock fish you love, only smaller. New Fish McBites, only at McDonald's. Unlike us, they're not going to hang around for long. More fish fun to love. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For an incredible world, you need an improbable vehicle. So we engineered the new Mazda CX-9 to be both spacious and agile. 
We designed it to be utilitarian, yet stylish. And we made the CX-9 sophisticated, but kept it within reach. The improbable is now possible. Introducing the Mazda CX-9. Reimagine for 2013. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? You may have heard that it saves to shop around. At Meyer, that myth has met its match. It's called Meyer Math. It starts with already low prices across the store, on every product, for every customer, every day. Then add even more savings with weekly specials, and then subtract even more from the total with Imperks digital coupons. At Meyer, the math always works in your favor. So forget the myth, get the math. Find out more at Meyer.com slash math. Notre Dame's successful reinvention since the loss of Scott Martin has been based in large part on two things, rebounding and defense. Here is a stat for you to ponder. In Notre Dame's last two games against the top two rebounding teams in the Big East, Notre Dame has out-rebounded Pitt and Cincinnati by a combined 83-52 to 52 margin. We got two big guys out there who can, you know, out-rebound, rebound with the best of them, and, uh, you know, just holding our hat on defense now is definitely going to be something that we do the rest of the season. I'm so proud to see our team just come in and just have all these rebounds. I mean, Zach leads the team in nine rebounds. I mean, that's phenomenal. And then just have everyone out there fighting for boards. It's great. We're starting to find an identity, especially defensively. Um, and I think that's that's really good for us. Um, but we still have some more, you know, a, a couple more games to go. And uh, we need to stay focused through those. Coach, it takes a lot of hard work and effort to win the way you're winning right now, but your players have really embraced this style of play. I think they're excited about what we're doing on the defensive end and especially with what we're doing on the backboard. And I think if we can get them to still grasp that and embrace that, we can have some fun in March. And Coach, I know another thing your players have really embraced, the new Adidas postseason uniforms. Only six teams get to wear them, and you're one of them. I tell you what, uh, there's some energy when you just look at them. And, and uh, Adidas showed me these back in the fall, and I thought, you know, we were going to go for it. Our players love it. And I got about five text messages yesterday or the other day when we unveiled them from recruits saying, I love them. So case closed. You know, it's, a, it's an energizing thing. Here are the shorts. Now, the one oh, you thing, love the shorts. I love the shorts. But basically what I'm going to do after the season, I'm wearing a pair of these to the beach. I'm going to be surfing in these. But uh, – it's energetic. It's, uh, it's, it's the way we are now. It's the world we live in. And it was neat when we unveiled them for our guys the other day after practice. They were very excited. And they're also they're, they're really cool to look at, but they're the newest uniform technology. They dry much faster, yeah. and that makes a difference. They will never feel heavy despite how much effort's put out in the game. I cannot believe how light this is as a game uniform. It's, it's just amazing. And, uh, again, we will break them out in New York City for the Big East Tournament. Four young men are wrapping up their final season with the Irish in the coming weeks, and they will be honored during Senior Night festivities next week. We will talk with three of them right after this timeout. Four Notre Dame players are in the process of completing their final seasons associated with the Notre Dame basketball team. Jack Cooley, Scott Martin, Mike Brohammer, and Joey Brooks. And all have quite a story to tell. Two of these gentlemen have battled knee problems throughout their careers. Mike Brohammer endured four surgical procedures on each of his knees before deciding prior to this season that he can no longer play the game that he loves. For me, that was a big growing process because my sophomore year when I had those surgeries, there was, there was always that hope that I could come back and I could still play. Um, then as junior year rolled around, I was, I was working for it, trying to get there. And then this year, obviously, is, you know, had to call it quits, and that was one of the hardest things I've ever done because basketball was my identity, and I had to find a new identity. Um, for me, there's, it kind of left this huge void. For you, what's been the best part of being a student athlete at Notre Dame? Uh, I'd, I'd say the one thing that I really enjoyed about being a student athlete here is the fact that I'm not segregated from the rest of the student population. Um, I, live with, I live in the dorms just like any of the other students would and I had my freshman year I came in with three random roommates that I didn't know and to me that was it was a big growing experience kind of a, a part of the college experience that most athletes don't get. 
And Mike's not the first player who's told me that. No, Mike, and, and what a man. You know, you look at him now. What's so great about him as they took basketball away from me, he immersed himself in many other things. He's engaged to be married. He's got a job, and he's in the Bengal bouts. And by the time that this show airs, he might be a Bengal bout champion. Fighting for the championship. You're right. Uh, very, very proud of him, and he's been a key member of our team, even though he can't be on the floor with us. Knee injuries also prematurely ended Scott Martin's basketball playing career, but they did not stop him from continuing to carry out his duties as just the 20th player in school history to serve a second year as a team captain. I talked with Martin about how his leadership skills developed. You know, I think even last year I grew into the role, and uh, it's something that I've tried to embrace and, and, and work hard at to, to be better at, but uh, it, it's definitely something that I think it, it took time for me to, to grow into. What's been your best moment at Notre Dame so far? You know, honestly, I don't, I don't think there's a single moment that is the best. You know, there, were, there were so many great moments, and uh, you know, a lot on the court, but a lot more off the court. And I think to, to single one out is impossible. So uh, I just have so many, it's too hard to choose. 10, 20 years down the road, when you look back on your time here, what's going to stand out? Uh, I think the relationships. You know, I've been through, you know, been here a long time and had a lot of teammates. So. Uh, it, it's great to, to have that camaraderie and those relationships, especially that hopefully will get stronger you know, 20, 30 years from now. And boy, has he been a great leader. Special guy. One of my all-time favorites. Last year when this nucleus was young, one of the best jobs of leadership I've ever seen. In a lot of ways, he nurtured this nucleus how to grow up and how to, how to, how to win. Um, disappointed he can't continue, but he can still coach and lead from the sideline. Joey Brooks and Coach Bray mutually agreed before the season that Joey would not play in games this year, but both also agreed that Brooks still had a very important role to play on this year's Irish squad. Just being, you know, through the battles, um, you know, because I have been in the Big East battles, I have, you know, stood next to those guys on the floor and, you know, competed with them, and I've been there, and I, you know, some of the freshmen, you know, have not, especially earlier in the season. I try to be a friend uh, you know, a mentor, really whatever those guys, um, I feel those guys, you know, need at the time. And sometimes it's nothing. Even though I, I, I wouldn't suit up, I still had, you know, a tremendous amount to, to contribute. You and Coach Bray have had a very active relationship throughout your years, many meetings and conversations. Just talk about the impact he's had on you here. Coach Bray has been, you know, maybe one of the most instrumental um, people as far as shaping me as a man. Even though there were no minutes for Joey this year, some might think he would hold that against you. You guys have a great relationship. You know, Joey's been a man about things. You know, I know he's probably never played as much as he's wanted to here, but we always discussed it like men. And I thought the role that he's played this year has been very instrumental for us. First of all, he's a heck of a practice player, playing against that body every day. He's helped the young guys. He has such a bright future with that personality. And we will save the best for last. We will talk with Jack Cooley during our final show of the season on Selection Sunday. This week's Ask Coach Bray question is coming up next. We love seeing you at Bank of America. But we know you want to be able to bank wherever you are. Bank of America Mobile Banking lets you bank on your schedule. Now you can securely deposit checks you get right away with your smartphone camera. Watch this. It doesn't get more convenient than that. See? Success. It's amazing. Check balances, pay bills. And much, much more. Right here. Bank on your schedule and deposit checks on the go. Download the Bank of America mobile banking app today. I need to get back to work. Three, two, one. It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. <laughs> Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This is Satellite Radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. It is time now for this week's Ask Coach Bray question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from the self-proclaimed biggest Irish fan <laughs> in the state of North Carolina, Bill Oakley, who asks, Coach, how is the offensive strategy of three out, two in different from our typical four out, one in? Well, first of all, Bill, we're coming to an ACC territory close to you real soon, but three around two 
gives us two big bodies on the floor to screen for those perimeter guys. So I think it springs them a little bit more. You always have to be conscious of your spacing in three around two because it's not as smooth as four around one, but I like how we've adjusted thus far. And if you would like to ask Coach Bray a question, all you have to do is log on to und.com and click on Ask Coach Bray in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. One of Notre Dame's three captains will return next season. Steady and productive point guard Eric Atkins. Eric rarely turns the ball over on the court, so you know he will not fumble my questions on this week's Inside Notre Dame Basketball Fast Break. Do you have a celebrity crush? Um, no. Best part of your game? I'm passing. Part of your game you need to work on? Shooting. Favorite Notre Dame game day uniform? The black, black jersey. Best thing about playing at Purcell Pavilion? Uh, the fans. Coach Bray's game day attire, which do you like better, mock tee or open collared shirt? <laughs> mock tee. One thing you always hear from Coach Bray in practice? Burn. Player on the team most like you? Uh, Jan Grant. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Uh, Berg, Austin Burgett. <laughs> Toughest Notre Dame player to guard? Uh, can be shot. Best defender on the team? Uh, oh, Pat Crowley. Best leaper on the team? Uh, Pat Crowley. Best dunker on the team? Uh, Jan Grant. Worst dunker on the team? Myself. Best dresser on the team? Myself. Worst dresser on the team? Tom Knight. What? Free throw contest. Who wins, you or Coach Bray? <laughs> Me. <laughs> As you can tell, Eric had an audience, but he didn't flinch. He didn't. I think that was Tom Knight who had was, a comment yeah. in the back. Yeah. You know. He handled that as steady and poised as he's handled running our team. The guy is the ultimate quarterback on the basketball court. And you're going to need that as you wind down the regular season. Notre Dame closes out its regular season schedule with three tough games in the next eight days. We'll take a look at the first two of those games right after this timeout. Bob, these projections, they're optimistic. Productivity up, cost down, time to market reduced. Those are good things. Upstairs, they will see fantasy. Not fantasy, logistics. UPS came in. Analyzes supply chain, inventory systems. UPS. UPS. Not fantasy. Who would have thought? I did. We did, Bob. We did. Got it. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with it. You just get sucked in. And it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Three tough games remain for the Irish in the regular season. Two of them are on tap before our next show, beginning with a tough road tilt at Marquette. Well, 24 straight home wins. They're undefeated this year. They're feeling very confident coming off a win against Syracuse. We've got our hands full against a physical Marquette team. And then we come home and play St. John's on senior night, a team that beat us before, Jack. But when you talk about physical tough teams, your team is now a physical tough team. I think the Marquette challenge I'm so excited to see. Can we maintain our physicality? against a physical front line on the road. And that will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball. We, of course, will have all the highlights of the Marquette and St. John's games on our next edition. Until then, for Coach Bray, I'm Jack Nolan. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray has been brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.